Buenos dias. It is 8.11 in the morning, if you want to focus. It's another gorgeous day today in Barcelona. I had a slow start this morning because my tour doesn't start till a bit later like around 10 10 30 so I'm able to kind of hang out a little bit yesterday I fell asleep so easily after drinking a bowl of soup and ramen for today I'm gonna go downstairs have some breakfast then I'm gonna go meet up the tour um, in front of Comedia Central. And once I do that, we have a 2.5 hour tour around Barcelona um, highlighting Gaudi and his architecture. But not only that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and say the places that we're going to right here. Leo Vizantoni Taipas on the Casa Leo, all these locations. This specific company is well what from what i've seen i booked two tours with them is that they're pretty short it's like 2.5 to 3 hours the two that i booked so the reason i like that is because it allows me to kind of see much of the buildings or the locations neighborhoods that i've been wanting to see without having to stick around meaning after the tour i could go ahead and walk around by myself um, versus having to stick with the whole entire group for a long period of time or drive a city bus um, where that usually takes up the sum of the tour. What I noticed was that these locations you don't go inside. It's mainly just seeing the facade, mainly just the history, which I, I really enjoy listening to the history of neighborhoods, cities, etc, etc, etc. It's like 15 now I think I'm gonna go downstairs and get some breakfast and just chill there something I've been forgetting to do is this past two days I have not gotten my room clean because I've forgotten currently at the entrance of my hotel it's chilly I'm putting on a jacket real quick I just finished breakfast and I'm extremely awake now, officially. I have to walk about 20 minutes to where I want to go, but at the rate that I walk, it may be 15 minutes. According to my maps, I am one minute away. So it should be around here, right here. For now though, I think I'm just gonna hang out and walk around. So as I wait for it to be 10 in the morning, I'm just gonna sit and chill because I'm by the place and I don't really wanna go walking when we're gonna walk for three hours. We're meeting over there. It's at the sculpture Big Red Book Monument uh, Libre by Joan Brasa. This is a small hill within this alluvial plain and this is where the Romans uh, found their town. Uh, one, because the hill is Axis Mundi, it's closer to the, the sky gods, as the penguins in Madagascar would say. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has that uh, religious element. It also reduces the slope of your aqueduct. It helps you with your defensive walls, and it allows you to drain out the dirty water. I'm surprised this is not in color, but this is all colored tile and brick. So that was his, what, his first? This building. is like his first style. This is right. his first house in his 30s. And this is a house he built for a tile designer, and these are all orange and blue. And then, so this is for a very conservative family. More sculptural mm -hmm. and less decoration. So you only have this like sea sponge looking thing to the stone and then the seaweed looking balcony. Mm -hmm. And then he adds that piece on top, which is, um, there are 270 catenary arches that give the whole attic space. The 
tour just finished and the tour guide helped me out in terms of finding a place to eat. I had heard of this place from a blog that I read. It's called El Nacional and it has a bunch of little markets and restaurants within its building. So I'm gonna check it out. I hope I get a paella and the outside is beautiful. I just want to take a second and just appreciate. I just took a bunch of pictures with my, my iPhone and uploaded them on Instagram right now. And I took a newspaper. Let's go on in. This is a story about what to do on a date. It begins one early summer afternoon. So I heard that that paella are in this restaurant, which I'm super happy about because it has a huge fish in the front. Seafood paella coming my way. Hola! Something they do here in Spain or in Barcelona, what you call, what you like it, is the tomato spread with olive oil. It's delicious. Mm. I've just finished eating. Bye bye. I'm in the So cute. This is where they place my leftover food, which is gorgeous. Amazing detail. I am stuffed and so content. I'm gonna head out to the Museum of Contemporary Art in Barcelona. It's like, I'm not even sure what time it is right now. Let me check. It is about to be three in the afternoon and okay amazing experience thus far at the Nacional because not only is it visually stimulating in all aspects but the service was amazing the food was great and it's been good I'm gonna head out now I'm done I did not think that I would be seeing this exhibition here. Plenza. So far, it's been a full afternoon. It's around four o'clock, probably even. Yeah, it's actually 442, it's about to be five. I just went through history.
finished the last room. It was a strange room. It's all dark. And I had to stay there for 15 minutes till my eyes got adjusted um, to see this centerpiece that made sounds and is this huge centerpiece but I didn't really see it and it was super strange and I turned on my flash on my phone and I saw there were other people in the room that I didn't even recognize like I didn't even hear them coming in or out so that was pretty strange darkness is strange light is strange it's all strange but I'm heading out now it's 503 I think I'm gonna head straight to the hotel uh, I'm not hungry or anything since I ate a very hearty lunch I'm back at the rooftop of the hotel, of my hotel. And I'm just gonna go to my room. I am gonna kick back, process today, kind of start uploading some of the photos I took today, organizing my agenda. Tomorrow's another full day of walking. So I was gonna check how many miles I walked today. I walked 5.7 miles today, 14,295 steps, okay? Go me, that's really good. Three floors, although the floors are still processing, so I don't know. Getting back to a nice and made bed. Cleaned up pretty well. Time to upload. Buenos, buenos dias. I'm a little bit rushed right now because I semi stepped in. It's 9.09. .09 and the good thing is the tour starts at 10.30. It is Saturday. It's my last full day here in Barcelona. Bittersweet. Tomorrow my flight is at 9. Yeah, let's, let's just start heading out. Okay. I'm hoping they still have breakfast out. So I could grab some, like a croissant or something light with a coffee. This is what I'm wearing today. Black on black. And this jacket has been the jacket of the week because it has pockets. And it's loose and it's not too heavy because it gets cold, but then it gets hot in the sun. So, yes. Hallelujah. They got the breakfast going on still. I'm going to go in and some coffee. Let me see where I have to go. Left. That way. I see a lot of people meet up here, hang out here. Do activities here. I was saying this entire time, Plaza de Catalunya, and it's actually uh, no. I was saying Catedral de Catalunya. It's actually Catedral de Barcelona. The Catalunya is the architecture school that we have to meet up in front of. We have a flea market going on. If I didn't have to take everything in my luggage travel back I would probably buy some things here
middle of a military camp, which is what these cities were originally. Mm -hmm. So it was basically two main streets, the Cardo and the Decumano, which were this street and this other street. Actually, we're standing right in front of the entrance to the Decumano, to one of these two main streets. closed and they have to wait uh, to spend the night on the beach and when the sun rises they discover the sea which they have never seen because they come from central Spain and they are amazed. This is heaven, this is heaven, I know. And the sun is going down. Get the yeah, we're still in Barceloneta. Uh -huh. And we just had food at Paco Alcalde, which was recommended to us by our tour guide, Ricard. Yeah. Shout out to Ricard. Shout out. Yeah. And now we're going to head out, go back to our, to our homes, our little staycation <laughs> places. <laughs> It is 6.05 p.m. and I just got back to my hotel. What an eventful and fun-packed, informative, productive day. It's the last day, the last sunset here, so I'm gonna chill right over here. So bittersweet. It's like 6.20 in the morning. And I just need to get my last bag ready, which is mainly just putting my computer and a couple of other things inside. Get ready. A large one is already all packed up and ready to go. And that's about it. Let's do this. I'm ready. And I got my bags. Just looked outside for a couple minutes because the view is going to be missed and I am heading out the door.
go to E73. I checked in my bags. I am all set and I'm gonna fly out. So this wraps up my Barcelona series of vlogs. I'm looking already forward to, first of all, going home and second of all, my next travels. Until next time.